Hi, I'm Dr. Arash Jawambach. I'm a psychiatrist uh, at the Department of Psychiatry School of Medicine. I specialize in stress, trauma, and anxiety. Uh, today, I want to just present a few bullet points about good ways of coping with the stress of the current pandemic. Number one, uh, get the facts from reliable resources and medical experts and avoid a lot of uh, hype and uh, rumors and gossips and unreliable resources you find on social media. Get the facts, it's important to know what we need to do and that gives us a sense of control and reduces uncertainty. So it's helpful in reducing the stress. But also at the same time, avoid too much exposure, exposure to the news. We don't need hours and hours of exposure to the pandemic news to be able to take care of what we need to take care of. Uh, so avoid too much exposure. Make sure you get hours and hours of breaks from the news. Uh, if you want to watch something, watch some uh, uh, fun movies or uh, comedies or uh, documentaries. Animals are cool things to watch. Uh, stay connected. It's important to be socially connected. We are social uh, creatures. Uh, it's important to be physically uh, distant, but there are millions of ways with the new technology to stay connected. So it's important to be socially attached to other people. Uh, well, besides you using for social media, our phones surprisingly have another purpose, which is calling people. So call people, uh, do video chats and talk to people you love and stay connected. Uh, remember all the activities that we always wanted to do and things we wanted to learn and we didn't have a chance to do so. Uh, so this is the time. We have more time at, at our hands. We can always... Uh, go back to learning the instrument we always wanted to learn to play or the course online free course we wanted to learn to add to our skills and of course all the hobbies that we didn't rarely had time to uh, get to um, keep the routines go to bed at the same time get out of the bed at the same time have the meals at the same time watch out we don't want to gain a lot of weight during this time. So it's important to stay in the routines we had before. We, are, we need structure to be happy in our lives. Um, it's very also important to be physically active. Exercise is shown to be very helpful and important for uh, physical and mental health. It uh, reduces stress, anxiety, and it helps with our brain health. And of course, it also boosts uh, our immune system. And there's one activity actually, which is productive, gives us a sense of purpose and productivity. It's physically active and it also is physically distant from other people. Uh, as well, it uh, helps with harmony and staying connected with the nature, which is gardening and yard work, uh, especially this time of the year. And also know that this is gonna be over soon. So it's hard, but it's not, a, it's not gonna be forever. Thank you.